From the MPG Production Studio, this is the game where high hands can lead to high rewards. Welcome to Net Poker. And now, here's your host, the master of the card, Raymond Scrub. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another edition of Net Poker right here at MVG Productions. Glad you can join us here once again. Well, we got three more contestants here ready to try their luck at the cards, see if they can win themselves a lot of cash here. Because remember, the three highest players of our season with the most cash will come back and compete in our championship game, which we're getting close to now. We're about seven episodes away from that game happening. And we're going to see if one of these players can be the lucky one to maybe cash that Royal Flush prize tonight. We'll see what happens here. Let's go ahead and meet our players, starting with our first contestant up. For, with his second appearance here on the show here, last time he won himself $1,300, we got Travis Coulter. Travis, welcome back, sir. Glad to be back. How are you today? I'm doing quite well. Glad you could make it back here with us. Our good, fr our restaurant manager from Portland, Oregon here. Um, favorite video game you're playing right now, sir? Oh, man. I, I just got this new one. It's City Skylines. Um, it's made by Colossal Order and Paradox Interactive. Um, just, it's just, a um, what's, what, what, what did I say? The customization, the options, the levels, the level of detail you can put into this game. It's ridiculous. I, like, if you guys watch it sometime, I can show you. Fantastic. Look forward, look forward to checking that out in the near future. Are you ready to play, or try your look at the cards again tonight? Oh, yeah. All right, well, good luck to you. All right, well, good luck to you. Our second contestant up, making his fifth appearance of the season on the show today. So far has won himself $13,950 in cash. We got Mr. Will Medina. Will, welcome in. Oh, man, these lights. Did I not tell you to dip them down, Brendan? No, we, we, <laughs> want, we want to make sure everybody <laughs> wants to see your face this time. Yeah, so our, good, our good friend from San Francisco, the Bay Area, the true MVP of MVG. Um, yep. Anything else you want the good folks to know about you, buddy? Uh, let's see. Uh, I just got promoted to now security lead. I my pay just got raised to eighteen twenty five an hour, and I'm raking in the bigger bucks now. And my favorite profession is yelling at taxi drivers. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, tacos are on Will tonight, then, for the show, after the show. <laughs> All right, well, good luck to you tonight here. And our yep. third contestant playing with us on this episode of Net Poker for the first time this season, possibly the only time. We'll see how, we'll see what the schedule looks like here. Uh, we have my girlfriend, Sunny. Sunny, but... Hello. Yep, she, uh, my significant other, better half of <laughs> six years, six and a half years. Yep. Um, anything you want the YouTube folks to know about you that I may have, may or may not have already told them in previous videos? Oh, shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I also work at the casino in the ladies' shop. Um, I absolutely love it. And, um, we've, we've been together for a long time. Yeah, she loved me a long time. Yes. <laughs> he won't go oh, here. Lord. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing with this game. I have no idea how it works, and I'm not really a poker player. I don't exactly understand it, so let's see how interesting this gets. <laughs> well, I will try to explain as best as I can as we go along the show here. But good luck to you tonight. Good luck to all three contestants. We're going to jump right into our first round of play here on Net Poker. We're. Let's get right to it, and we're going to play our first round, which is our video poker round. We're going to start you each off with 10 points. I've got five trivia questions for you. Each cor correct answer you get will get you an additional 10 points. And then the person with the lowest amount of points will get to play the cards first, and I'll explain how that portion works when we get to it. As for right now, uh, let's make sure we have our controls locked, unlocked for our players here. Really quickly, and we're all set, and let's get right to it. Let's play the video poker round, our trivia portion. With this first question, players. Odd job was the bodyguard of which villain from the James Travis? Doctor No. Not what we're looking for there. Sorry. I'll continue <laughs> on. 
Uh, I'll continue on. Oddjob was the bodyguard of which villain from the James Bond films? Was it... Will or Sonny? I didn't push anything. Alright, that's time. Correct answer was Goldfinger. Oh. Goldfinger is what we're looking for there. It's alright. No, no harm, no foul. We'll go to our next question here. Uh, for 10 points, players. In the North American sport... What do the initials NHL stand for? Sonny. National Hockey League. National Hockey League's right. Very good. That's 10 points for you. Here we go. Our next question. Players, players the World Bank is located in which city? Is it Washington, D.C., New York City, or Los Angeles? Sonny. New York? No, sorry. It's not New York. Travis or Will? Um, Travis? Washington, D.C. That is correct. Very good. Ten points for you. You're up to 20 now. All right, players. Uh, Park J. Sang is the, is the actual name of what famous Gungam style singer? That's Sonny. Sai. Sai is correct. Very good. 10 points here, you're up to 30. All right, final question of our first round here, players. Who was the most talked about athlete on Twitter during the 2012 London Olympic Games? Here's a hint. He's a sprinter from Brazil. Oh, I can't. It's not, it's not letting me do it. Any guesses? Sonny. Oh, okay. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is correct. Very good. Wow. I panicked because I was thinking it wouldn't do it. Yeah, so oh. it got moved around in just a sec. But all right. After the uh, trivia portion of our first round, Sonny's in the lead currently with 40 points. Travis is second with 20. But Will, with 10 points, will get first crack at the video cards in this portion. And let me explain how this works. You're each going to get... Uh, you're gonna, we're gonna, we have a deck of cards, 9 through 8, we're going to put up on the video wall. You're going to pick 5 cards to try to make your best poker hand that you can. And here's how the points break down for those of you who are playing. And for the folks at home as well. Um, remember that uh, you're trying to catch at least a pair of queens or better. Because if you can do that, you're going to earn yourself five points. Um, you want queens, kings, or aces to get you five. Anything less than a pair of queens, you're going to lose five points. So be careful of that. Two pair, which is uh, two pairs like aces and kings. You'll get yourself 10 points. Three of a kind, three aces, three kings, whatever, 15. A straight is five cards in sequential order, like 9, 10, jack, queen, king. That's a straight. That'll get you 20 points. A flush is five cards of the same suit. That gets you 25 points. A full house is having a three of a kind plus a pair all in the same hand. If you can do that, that's fourth 40 points. Four of a kind, of course, as it is, four aces, four kings, four queens. You'll get yourself 125 points. A straight flush is five cards in sequential order, like a 9, 10, jack, queen, and king, all of the same suit. That is a straight flush. That'll score you 250 points. And, of course, our top hand, uh, the five highest cards in the deck, the 10, the jack, the queen, the king, and the ace, all the same suit. That is the royal flush. That will get you 1,000 points. And also, it will get you our special royal flush bonus prize, which is $100,000 in cash added to your winnings, along with a brand new Chevy Camaro valid at $49,000. So lots of bonus prizes if you catch the royal flush. It's really hard to do, but it is doable in the show. All right? So with that said, Will, with 10 points, are you ready to play video poker? Yeah, I totally missed round one of the questions. Thanks, Pop. All right, well, no problem. Let's get you to it. Let's get you a good hand. You can get right back in the game. Here we go. We'll shuffle the cards around. And when you're ready, go ahead and pick you out five cards there. All right, uh, let's go with card number eight. Number eight. That's a king of spades. Uh, let's go with 12. 12 gets you. Jack of diamonds. Uh, number four. Four. That's an ace of hearts. Uh, 19. 19. That's a ten of spades. Find you a queen, you got your straight. 23. 
23 gets you an ace of spades. All right, so you have a pair of aces so far. Uh, you've got three cards to the, uh, to the royal flush if you want to try for it. Or you can keep that pair of aces. It's worth five points to you now. Keep the aces or redraw your hand, sir. What do you want to do? Uh, oh, man. Now, it's a tough call on this one. I know. The odds are three to one against me if I were to go for the Royal Flush, and only five to one if I keep the aces. So. Uh. Yeah. I can't go for, I can't go for the Royal Flush. I'm going I'm to keep the aces. Okay, so you're going to keep the aces. So we'll drop the king, the jack, and the ten. And we're going to let you redraw three cards. All right. Go ahead and give me three more numbers. All right, let's go at number 16. 16. That is a nine of diamonds. Fantastic. Two. Little deuce gets you a king of diamonds. One more card. And my number 15. And 15. 15 gets you a king of clubs. So you finish with two pair, and that is worth 10 points to you. All right. All right, Will's up to 20 points now. Travis, you got 20 points currently in your bank. Are you ready to play? Uh, yes, indeed. All right, let's reshuffle the cards. And you go ahead and start picking five. 2, 12, 1, 9, 4. 2, 12, 1, 9, and 4. Okay. So there's two. Jack of clubs. 12. Queen of Spades, one, Ten of Diamonds, the nine, the Queen of Hearts, and the four gets you a nine of Diamonds. So currently you have a pair of queens, sir. That's worth five points to you, which is the bare minimum. You want to keep those queens or and re or redraw your hand. What do you want to do? I want to keep the queens and draw... Drop the other card. Okay. We're going to keep those two queens. He's looking for two more to go with it for a possible four of a kind. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. And then. Okay, give me three more numbers. 17. All right. 17. That's a 10 of hearts. Six. Six is 10 of spades. Find a 10 or a queen. You got you a full house. And 13. Lucky 13 gets him a oh. jack of hearts. But you finish with two pairs. as well. That will also give you 10 points. You're up to 30 now. And now, Sonny, with 40 points, your turn to try your look at the cards. Are you ready? Yeah, this is kind of like Yahtzee. All right, let's do it. All right, give me five numbers. 21. 21. Jack of hearts. 18. Jack of clubs. Nine. Nine. Nine of clubs. <laughs> um, two. Number two. Queen of diamonds and one more. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen is a nine of spades. Yeah. So you have two pair right now as well. You, that's worth ten points. You can keep that or you can redraw, try to make your hand better. All right, she's going to redraw the queen. All right, so we'll get rid of the queen there. You're looking for a jack or a nine to make a full house. Ten. Ty Dillinger, the perfect ten, gets us Aww. king of hearts. But that's okay. You finish with two pair. That gives you ten points and a total of 50 points. and makes you tonight's VIP. So well done. So that means you are go you automatically get a buy into the final round of the game. So before you you head off to the VIP lounge, you get a chance to earn some cash. Hidden behind the letters in the word poker, there we have cash amounts from five hundred dollars to five thousand dollars. Pick a letter. What's ever back there is yours to keep. K. Okay. Behind the letter K, we have five thousand dollars. The big money. Yay. Nicely done. Five thousand bucks for Sonny. 
And she starts off her first game of net poker well of that one. She's $5,000. She's headed off to the VIP lounge, and she'll take on either Travis or Will in the final round of the game. But for now, folks, we're reaching our first commercial break. We're going to pause for the calls, and when we come back, Travis and Will will battle it out playing a little five-card poker. We'll do that right after this here on Net Poker. Welcome back to Net Poker. It is uh, time for our second round of play. It's our five card poker round. Sunny's tonight's VIP, and she's currently enjoying some drinks and sacks, courtesy of our friends Bacardi in the VIP lounge. But now it's up to Travis and Will to see which one of them will take on Sunny in our final round as we play five card poker. All right, Travis, you had the higher score of the two from the last round, so go ahead and give me a number between 1 and 24 so we can cut the deck. I would like 11. Number 11. All right, 11 it shall be. All right. All right, here's how this round works. I'm going to show you two cards off the top of the deck, and then I'm going to ask you a trivia question. Get it right, not only will you get 10 points, but you get your choice of the two cards that you want to make your poker hand this round. Uh, we'll do the first four cards will be face up, and each question is worth 10 points. The final question, the card will be face down, and the question will be worth 15 points. At the end, we'll, we'll reveal the, the final face down cards and see who has the better poker hand. The w person who has the higher poker hand of the two will re receive a 25 point bonus. The person with the most points at the end of this round will go on to t meet Sonny in our final round of play. All right? So with that said, let's take a look at the first two cards off the top of the deck. We have a Jack of Clubs and a Queen of Diamonds. All right? Uh, pay attention to the buzzing keys at the top of the screen there. That's what you'll need to buzz in this round. Here comes your first question for 10 points in this round. All right, players, Ted Mosby, Robert Sabatsky are the central characters in which U.S. sitcom? Is it, is it The Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, or King of Queens? And oh, nobody on, answering that one. That's time. Oh. I, I love that. Oh, okay, ah. Trev. There it goes. Um, How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother is correct. Very good. All right, just so we had some technical issues there. We'll clean that up as you go ahead and pick your which card you'd like. I would like the Queen of Diamonds. All right, Queen of Diamonds shall be yours in just a second. As we've reset the buzzers for our players now, and you get the Queen of Diamonds. All right, Travis, your cards are on top as you'll be playing the top row. Will, your cards will be on bottom. Let's take a look at the next two cards. We have a Queen of Clubs and a King of Clubs. See what happens here? Here is your next question. All right, players. Agent Jones, Agent Orange, or Agent Smith? What was the name of the character played by Hugo Weaving in the Matrix film? Travis. Agent Smith. Agent Smith is the correct answer. Very good. You have 10 points as well. You're up to 20. Go ahead and uh, pick a card. Which one would you like? Uh, let's do the Queen of Clubs. All right, the Queen of Clubs is yours. You have a pair of queens right now. Will has a king high. As we take a look at the next two cards. We have a Knight of Spades and a Queen of Hearts. So a chance for Travis to pick up three queens here. So, Will, you need this one to kind of keep you in the game here. Here comes your question. The cow, the snake, or the tiger? Which animal is the national animal of the country of India? Travis. The cow. No, I'm sorry. It's not the cow. Will, is it the snake or the tiger? I would like to stay the tiger. 
Tiger is correct. Very good. There you go. Ten points for you. Will, which car would you like? Sorry, Travis. No trips for you. I'll take the queen. All right. The queen is yours. So you have a... You have three cards to a straight now. Travis still in the lead with a pair of queens. Let's take a look at the next two cards off the top of the deck. A nine of diamonds and a jack of spades. Interesting play here. We'll see what happens here. Here comes your question for ten points. Which um, actor Michael Fassbender was born in Germany but raised in which European country? Is it Ireland? England or Norway? Travis. I want to say Norway. That's incorrect. Dang. <laughs> Is it England or Ireland, Will? England or Ireland. I would like to say Ireland. Ireland is correct. Very good. That gives you 20 points now. Which card would you like? Uh, I'm about to take. I'm about to take the jack. All right, you're taking <laughs> taking the jack there. That gives you a pair of jacks, but now That's gives really Travis gives Travis a uh, two pair with queens and nines. But we've reached our final question of the round. Remember, the cards are face down this time. This is a 15 point question. So here, here it comes. All right, players. Starring Bill Murray in the 2003 film Lost in Translation was set in which, which city? Starring, starring Bill Murray, the 2003 film Lost in Translation was set in which city? Is it Tokyo, Kyoto, or Nagasaki? Travis. Kyoto. No, I'm sorry. It's not Kyoto. Will, got a guess? I'll, I'll say Tokyo. And that is the correct answer. Very good. 15 points for you, Will, gives you 35. You have the lead for now, but now you must make a decision. Which card would you like, the left or the right? Uh, I'll take the right. All right, right card is yours. So as it stands right now, Travis has the lead with two pair. Will has a pair of jacks looking to pair up something else to try to give him the win here. Uh, let's flip over those final cards and see who gets the bonus. We'll flip them in three, two, one. Travis with a ten of hearts. Will with a king of diamonds. That gives Will two pairs, kings and jacks. Travis with queens and nines. Will with the higher two pair gets the 25-point bonus and wins the round. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well done, sir. 60 points for you. That means you'll be taking on Sunny in our final round. But before you do, you get a chance to pick up some cash here. Pick, give me a letter of the word poker. I'll take the E. All right, behind the E we have $500. Okay. Let's see where the big money was this time. Right next door on the R is what you need there. But all right, Will, that gives you another $500 there. Brings you now up to $14,450 in winnings. And you'll be meeting Sun here in just a minute. But unfortunately, this is where we got to say goodbye to Travis. Travis, did you have a good time with us, sir? Definitely did. All right, well, you're not leaving here empty-handed. We're going to give you 10 points. We're going to give you... Uh, we're going to give you $10 for every point that you score this round. You scored another 20 points, so that's another $200. So that brings your total now for the season up to $1,500. Not bad for two showings here. And we'll hope to have you back on a future episode, okay? Definitely. All right, and with that said, folks, we're going to take another commercial break. When we come back, Sonny and Will are going to battle it out, playing a little Joker poker to see who gets a shot at the Outlaw Jackpot, which is over $95,000. Who's going to get it? Find out at right after the break here on Net Poker.
Welcome back to Net Poker. Here it is now time for our final round between Sonny and Will to see which one of them is going to get a shot at the Outlaws jackpot as we play ourselves a little Joker Poker. All right, Sonny, you're tonight's VIP, so you get the cho you get the option to cut the deck. Give me a number between one and twenty-six. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Ah, half lack. All right, uh, here's how uh, this round plays, just like our five-card poker round. The only difference is here is we've added two jokers to the deck. Jokers are wild, just like a great series you can check out here on the channel. The person who, person who has the higher hand in this round will be tonight's winner and go on to play against the outlaw for over $95,000 in cash. Right, that's all right. So with that said, we'll get you settled in here and we'll get you started here with this first round. Let's take a look at the first two cards off the top of the deck. We have a Jack of Hearts and a King of Diamonds, all right? Buzzing keys are at the top of the screen. There, so make sure you use oh, the right one. Here's a Q. Okay. Yes, on the other end. And Will, you buzz it with a P again. Here comes your first question this round. Four, ten points, players. According to the old, pro according to the old proverb, what shouldn't you cut off and spite your face? Sonny. Finger. No, it's not your finger. Will, you have a guess? Will, do you have a guess? Okay, uh, by any desk, just crapped out. <laughs> Sorry, right, we'll get we'll get you back in. Uh, I'll read the question again. According to the proverb, what should you cut off to spite your face? Go. What was that? I'll say ego. No, oh, no. It's, no, it's not your ego. It's actually your nose. It's your nose. Uh, Don't cut your nose off to spite your face, but that's okay. No harm, no foul. We go to another question here. All right. The opera The Magic Flute was written by which composer? Is it Mozart or Beethoven? Sonny. Beethoven? No, it's not oh, Beethoven. It. Will? Mozart. You got it right. There you go. Ten points for you, sir. Which card would you like? The Jack or the King? I'll take that King. King is yours, all right. Will, your cards are on the bottom. Sonny, your cards are on the top. As we look at the next two cards off the top of the deck. Both of them are nines. A nine of hearts and a nine of spades. We'll see what happens. Here comes your question. Vert is the French word for what color? Is it red, blue, or green? Again, I'll repeat. Vert is the French word for what color? Red, blue, or green? Sunny. Green. Green is correct. Very good. Ten points for you. Which nine would you like? Take the hearts. Nine of hearts. Keeping it suited there for you. So you've got, you're still behind right now. King's king high to your jack high, but you have two hearts. We'll see what happens when we go on to the next cards. Ooh, Joker and an Ace. So control very important on this one. Here comes a question. Players, in which sport would a competitor use a maneuver called a Boston Crab? Sonny. Wrestling. Yes, it is wrestling. You're correct. I'm very surprised that was the next question. Did I get that wrong? Yeah, we we would have had to had to talk after the show. All right, Sonny, you have a choice here. Which card would you like? I'll take the Joker. Joker is yours. We'll make that. We'll change your Joker in just a minute. We look at the next two cards off the top of the deck. A king of hearts and a king of spades. All right, control. All right, here's your next one for 10 points, players. In the zodiac, the lion represents which star sign? Sonny. Leo. Leo is correct. Quick on the buzzer. Getting it right for another 10 points there. All right, which, which king would you like? The hearts. King of hearts. So you keep. You got it all hearts so far. Will now has a pair of kings as we reach our final question. 
course, the cards are face down. It's a 15-point question, Will. You must get this one in order to keep your chances to win this round alive, all right? All right, here comes your final question for 15 points, players. In a game of Rugby Union, how long does each half last? Again, in a game of Rugby Union, how long does each half last? Is it 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or 40 minutes? Sonny. 30 minutes. Incorrect. Will, is it 20 minutes or 40 minutes? Uh, um, okay, it's my buzzer. Oh, shit. I'll say 40. 40 minutes is correct. Got it. Well done, sir. That's 15 points for you. up to 25 now. All right, your important decision here, sir. Which car would you like, the left or the right? Yeah, left will be fine. All right, left card is yours. All right. Currently, as it stands right now, potentially both of you could have a pair of kings. Sonny's working on a potential flush. Will's got the lead right now with the pair of kings. We'll see what happens as we flip the final card over in three, two, one. Sonny with a nine of clubs and Will with a ten of spades. Uh, that gives Will a pair of kings. But Sonny, you get to make that joker into a card of your choice now. Which card would you like? Nine through ace. Well, since I have a pair of nines right now and a king, uh, I'll take the king. Hmm? A pair of kings, and I'll have a pair of kings and a pair of, pair of nines. So you want to make it a king? Or do you want to make it a nine? Uh, what would be higher? I don't understand this. I'm sorry. Alright, the three of a kind beats two pairs, so... But you want to go to the nine? Alright. Yeah, we'll do that. Nine of what? Pick a suit. Nine of diamonds. Diamonds, alright. Nine, nine, nine of diamonds it shall be. And with that, as a trip nine, Sonny gets the 25 point bonus and is today's winner. Congratulations to you, Sonny. Now uh, you get a chance to earn some more bonus cash, but this time you get two picks of the letters in the word poker. If you can pick, you can pick the two highest amounts, which is the $5,000 and the $2,000 space. I give you a bonus three thousand for a total of ten thousand dollars in cash. All right, pick two letters. Okay. O and K is what she goes with. The <laughs> O is worth five thousand, and the K is worth two thousand. She picked them both. Seven thousand for a bonus. Three thousand total of ten thousand dollars. Very nicely done. Congratulations to you. That is now brings you up to $15,000 in cash. And you're going to take on the outlaw here in just a minute. Unfortunately, this is where we got to say goodbye to Will. We thank you for playing, sir. Uh, you're not leaving here empty-handed on this one. You get uh, $10 for every point you score this round. It's another $250 added to your winnings. You're now up to $14,700 with our thanks for playing here on the show. And folks, this, we're going to take one last commercial break. When we come back, Sunny's going to get a shot to face the outlaw. Will she be the first one to win the outlaw jackpot? We'll find out right after the break here on Net Poker. Stay with us. somebody on or just it automatically transfers the energy oh see ah yeah yeah mm. I swear I'm gonna figure out what where these gnats are coming from and kill them all 
All right, let's do this. Uh, we're still recording. All right, let's cut off the first minute. Back in three, two, one. Let's do it. Welcome back to Net Poker. Here, Sunny is today's big winner with fifteen thousand dollars. A perfect playing in bonus cash so far. And now let's see if she will become the first one to beat the outlaw for ninety-five thousand dollars in cash, son. All right, here's how this final round is played. This is there's two halves to this game. If you win the first half, you don't have to play the second half. But it, we're going to see if you can be the lucky one to be able to win the Outlaw's jackpot tonight. Here's how this works. In each row, we've hidden one Outlaw. Uh, the first row, we've hidden one Outlaw. The second row, we've hidden two. The third, we've hidden three. And the final row, we've hidden four Outlaws. The rest of the cards are all deuces, because we're playing the game of deuces. Why? Your objective is to pull one deuce from each row of cards. If you can do that, you will win the Outlaw's jackpot of $95,000. If you find the outlaw, however, you don't win you don't win the jackpot, but every deuce that you find will count as a wild card in your final poker hand of the night. Alright? But let's see, let's not have to play that round. Let's just see if you can get that outlaw jackpot of 95,000. Okay? okay? So we got it. First row up, we got six cards there. Five of them are deuces. One is an outlaw. Find me a deuce. Pick a number. Two. Number two. Deuce behind little two, and we this time we get. Oh no! Aww. The one outlaw right <laughs> off the bat. Already. I, I, I think you are the first one to ever find the first outlaw in the first row there. Well. Okay. Well, it's a thing that happened. Alright, so we're not giving away the jackpot this time. But you still have a chance to add some wild cards to your final poker hand. Let's see if you can find some deuces now. Uh, okay. Second row, we have four deuces, two outlaws. Ten. Number ten. Behind ten, we have... There's a deuce! All right. Oh, right in the middle. <laughs> yep. Third row, 50-50 chance here. Three deuces, three outlaws. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen's going to get you. A deuce! And now the final row. Four... Four outlaws, only two deuces here. 21. 21. 21 gets her. A deuce! Are you serious right now? <laughs> she got through the three hardest ones and then the easy one. She <laughs> failed miserably. Well. Wow. Well, dang. I'm sorry. Well, bad news. You don't win the outlaw jackpot tonight. And because you found one outlaw, we added an additional $2,500 to the pot, bringing the jackpot now to $97,500 for the next person that gets a shot to play against the outlaw. But the good news is, though, you have three wild cards that you can help use to make your final poker hand of the night. So, let's play a little Deuces Wild here for you. All right, go ahead and cut the deck between 1 and 24. 18. 18. All right. Here's how this final round works. We deal two cards off the top of the deck, both of them face down. You simply pick a card, and you're going to fill in the two missing spots you have on your card deck there. Then you're going to make those wild cards, turn them into whatever card you want between nine and ace, and make your final poker hand. Now remember, the better your poker hand, the more cash you're going to win. Here's how the cash breaks down. If you make at least a three of a kind, you're going to get yourself 500 bucks. A straight pays you 750 A flush gets you $1,000. A full house gets you $1,500. Four of a kind gets you $2,000. A straight flush gets you $5,000. Five of a kind, the only time you can get it, it pays you $10,000. If you make a royal flush... What's that again? As the five highest cards, the ten, the jack, the queen, the king, and the ace, all of the same suit, that'll pay you $20,000 in cash. We've done it once this season. We're going to see if we can do it again. Alright, so you're looking... For so basically, to kind of help you out, you're looking to try to find a 10, a jack, a queen, king, or ace on this first pick here. So, all right, pick a card. Left or right? Left. Left card. Get you. A queen of diamonds. All right. So we deal the next two cards off the deck. You want to find a 10, a jack, a king, or an ace of diamonds. If you can do that, you can make yourself a royal flush in $20,000. Which card would you like? 
Left card again. Left card gets you. Jack of spades. All right. So now it's up to you to turn those wild cards into whatever cards that you'd like between nine and ace. What do you want that first wild card to be? Oh, queen of diamonds. All right. Going to be a queen of diamonds. All right. What do you want that second wild card to become? Same thing. Thank you. So make them all queen of diamonds. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Would it be more if I did like two pairs? So four, four kind of would be more, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. So queen of what? Spades. Spades. Okay. And finally, which you what when you want that one to be? Queen of hearts. There you go. And that's worth four of a kind, worth two thousand dollars. So congratulations! In one game here of Net Poker, you've cleaned up quite nicely. You won yourself a healthy total of seventeen thousand dollars in cash. Well done! Yay! Congratulations! That will put you. Uh, I think that puts you in the top three as of right now. Just looking, glancing at the high scoreboard real quick, I believe that actually puts you into. You are in third place as of right now, which means you will be back for the championship game, provided no one beats your total. But we still have several episodes between now and said championship game, so we'll see if you get a chance to get in, or can we come back and have another chance to win some more? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, and that does it for us here on this edition of Net Poker, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like the series and you want to see more of it, all you got to do is click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Production. And until we deal the cards out once again, we have more Net Poker headed your way. I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We will see you all next time. Take care. Bye for now, folks.